My granddaughter is eight years old. She is everything to me. That's part of why I will work as hard as I have to, is because I don't want her having a Mimi that can't take her places and do things with her. I had gone into the surgery center to have a spinal injection, and when I woke up, I couldn't feel my legs. I couldn't move my feet. I couldn't move my legs. I knew that I was going to have to go to rehab. That was pretty obvious, and I checked around with a few people, and they said this was a great rehab. From the beginning, this, this hospital's been focused on quality. We want to be able to you know, treat the patients that are from here, be able to offer them the most functional improvement, um, grow our programs to where we can fulfill them any need that, that comes across. So we've gone through and gone, gotten special accreditations in brain injury, in stroke. We're pursuing one now in spinal cord injury. That's a service that we feel like we're giving back to the community, and that's kind of been our mission from the beginning. So the great thing about Texas Rehab Hospital is that we are committed to serving the community in the Fort Worth area and beyond. We have been able to treat more than 6,000 patients since we've opened. We have grown our programs. We're a top 1% performing hospital with the UDS system uh, for three years in a row. So we're very proud of that. We're committed to quality and we want to do the right thing for the patient. Here at Texas Rehab, obviously, we're just focusing on mobility, you know, and improving people's functional safety. And um, our outcomes over our inception have been, you know, exceptional. And it's cutting edge pieces of equipment and obviously excellent staff that are focusing on neuro recovery um, that have helped spearhead that. In moving ourselves to the next level, we looked at robotics as you know, one of our opportunities. And we did a lot of research to choose the right device. My physical therapist one day said, I think we might put you in EXO. I, I didn't know what to expect from the EXO. I loved the way it felt when it stood you up because at that point in time, I couldn't stand up by myself. It was sort of freeing to think that, okay, maybe if this can stand me up, I should be able to learn to hold myself up. When Marty first came in, she had very minimal movement in her legs. It took two people to get her to stand. I think she walked 12 feet in the parallel bars initially. We measured her, put her in the device. Um, the first time she walked probably 125 steps, and then we got her in it again the next time and she walked 450 feet. And she completely surpassed my expectations. She was doing so much work. She felt so great about it. She was here for just a little over two weeks and she left the facility walking with a walker over, you know, 400 feet. I think the exoskeletons are excellent, you know, devices to kind of help assist what we naturally do with the patients anyway. It helps expedite the process and speed it up because we allow um, a greater range of motion and more flexibility um, in, in where we can perform these activities um, and, and to allow patients that true fluid range of motion that they wouldn't necessarily be able to provide with other, other devices. Now, I think the, the biggest benefit from what I've seen with our clinicians is just the amount of repetitions that they're able to get in and the time it takes to get to that point. But we want to maximize the time that we do have with them. So probably the biggest benefit has been the fact that we can get to that point sooner and get more time doing the things that we know are going to help that patient. The thing that stood out the most about ExoGT for me was how much variability there was in it. It was being able to do variable assists, changing their resisted to no assist to free. There were just so many different options you could do and I didn't see that with anything else. So when I was looking at what the future holds for all of these different devices, I definitely saw the EXO being an outlier and that it was far more progressive than the others. I would definitely recommend with any patients with spinal cord injury uh, and stroke, utilize this equipment here at Texas Rehab. I am very satisfied with the help I got here. If I had to put it this way, if I had to do this again, for some reason, God forbid, I would come back here because of the rehab that I got. I'm not gonna tell you it was easy, because it wasn't. It was hard. There were several times that I thought, I just wanna sit down, but mm, I wasn't gonna do that. 
upon discharge, she um, accomplished up to 300 feet with a rolling walker, um, and which was a remarkable gain for the time period that she had. You know, I got I got to be honest. For me personally, if if we're able to really be successful, whatever the metrics show, if they get to the point where they can go back to doing what they were doing before, then that's really what we're all about. We played charades. Even when I was up here in the hospital, we played that heads up game. At home, we did a scavenger hunt. So, I mean, I always happened to go on my walker, you know, and on my feet and stuff, and we, we did that numerous times. But there's a lot more things that I have to do with her. So I have to keep working. <laughs>